Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. It's the Motorsport Show. I'm Lukman Shadrak from the Cape Town Studios. Remember to join us on the WhatsApp line 079-085-2511. Let us know your thoughts around the Motorsport Show. And if you have any compliments for our guests, that would be great. Uh, or if you are a budding uh, motorsport racing driver, maybe you'd like to start uh, into the industry as well. We've got uh, legendary drivers that come into studio that can give you the best advice as well. Speaking about legendary drivers, we had uh, Anwar in earlier. Now we've got uh, Brother Mansoor Parker, who's also part of the same racing team that uh, Brother Armin Levy runs as well. Uh, Brother Mansoor, Salam alaikum, welcome. Alaikum, salam. Thanks for joining us uh, and taking the time and uh, you know coming through and letting our audience know about how you got into the sport. I mean. Where did this, we know uh, Anwar started because his dad said, hey, take that spanner, bring that spanner here, uh, you know, put the jack there, yes. come and work with me. But how did you get started in, yeah, in, so in this he, industry? Yeah, he basically had a uh, head start, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, correct. Yes. So basically, um, our family business is all in the motor trader. Okay. All my uncles, my grandfather started a service station okay. in 69 already. Wow. So I grew up with cars, you understand? Right. In the spare shop, on the four quarter service station, in the workshop. Yeah. So, yeah, basically I uh, started as a petrol head. At yeah, so, so ultimately mm-hmm. that was your next step yes. to go into racing as well. Yes. How, how old were you when you started racing? What age were so you? I started when I was 29 years old. Okay, all right. Yeah, circuit racing. Circuit? Before, yeah, circuit okay. racing. Okay. Before that, I used to do drag racing. Okay. Um, so basically, say 16, 17 years old, mm-hmm. and I could could drive basically. Yeah. Okay, so we're mm-hmm. talking quarter mile driving. type of thing. Quarter mile, yes. All right. Yes. So if you look at back mm-hmm. back at those years, what cars were you racing then? Uh, mostly BMW. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So BM My fan. for BMW. Yes. Non negotiable. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Mostly BMW. Yes. Okay. So when mm-hmm. you were doing quarter mile, uh, mm-hmm. what car did you use at the time? Take us through the specs of that car. So, uh, yeah, it was actually my brother's car I used to race with. It okay. was a BMW 325IS. Okay. Uh, when we started was racing that the car. the Shadow Liner back in the day? Um, not really. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's right. a debate but, but for that, another day. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it, yeah. Okay. So, at, at that point in time, it was uh, still naturally aspir- aspirated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then eventually, a few years later, we turbocharged it. Yeah. Sure. You know, you always want to go quicker right. and faster. Yeah. Right. So, when uh-huh. you were racing at the time, what were the other cars that were giving you serious competition? Um, there was the Villanelle with the big V8s, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then the nitrous fed cars, uh, Tola right. Daniels, he was also on the show. Right, yes, yes. Uh, Tola yeah. was on, yeah, yes. with that uh-huh. uh, Ford Escort. With the Ford Escort, yeah. Okay. Did he yes. race it back then as well? Yes, he's racing <sighs> it for years. <laughs> Look, mm-hmm. um, it's such an art form. Mm-hmm. You know, if you think about it, how what the car used to look like, to taking that car to where you would like it to be. Yeah. Um, is there a system that you follow? Is it a bit of a you know, um, well, uh, process that you have. There's a system, but you also develop with the car. Ah, understand? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, we started naturally aspirated, and mm-hmm. you always want to go quicker. Right. So turbocharging was the next thing at the time. Yes. Right. Right. So yeah. The and latest these parts were locally sourced, cetera, yes. international so internationally sourced. So well, because of the apartheid, etc., mm-hmm. uh, South Africa, you couldn't get uh, your hands onto a lot of parts, okay. performance parts. Yeah. Right. It was difficult back in the 90s. You had to make do with what you had, you understand? Okay. Yeah. So that's where you um, makes you scratch your head a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where can I gain? Where can I okay. improve on the car? You understand? Right. Yeah. So then you mm-hmm. moved on to circuit. Yes. Also staying with the BMW? Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. what BMW yeah. was that? Actually, I started with the Polo. Okay, the first, right. yeah, okay. okay. For the GTI Challenge to see if I enjoy it. That is a front-wheel drive car. Okay, we're not drove. saying that the polos yes. are slow. Please, we don't <laughs> yes. want the BW Club no, no, guys no, to come no. at us uh, no, and say that the polos. Yeah. Not at all. Yes, just saying that's all, where yeah. you progressed from. Right? Yes. <laughs> then I always loved rear wheel drive cars, mm-hmm. and then later on I bought me a rear wheel drive car. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. So, so the BMW that you went into circuit with is is what? Uh, yes, uh, BMW E30. E30. Yes. Very similar to Anwar's one. Similar to Anwar's one. He's got a 36, yes. right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, what did you do to that car to make it circuit? Really? So that car also, um, I bought the shell basically, yeah. I had a roll cage in, mm-hmm. and then um, I didn't like, uh, I didn't have the engine I I liked. Okay. Yeah. So I basically did an engine swap, 
and then I took it to the track and started racing. Brilliant. And like I said, developed the car as I developed my skills also. Right. And, and mm -hmm. did you have to have a particular license, a racing license, uh, courses that you had to go on? Um, so you can start as a track day um, at Kilani. They mm -hmm. offer track day events that you can um, start off with there. They okay. have three levels also. So you can start off with that. And if you want to go further, then mm -hmm. you can join either Clubman's or GTA Challenge. Okay. There's so many different. Okay. Interesting. That you can Interesting. Join, yeah. mm -hmm. We're looking at one of your cars being dyno tuned here at the moment as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that was your. That's the E30. Yes. That was the mm -hmm. E30. Yes. All right. Uh, and as so, you can see, your brother Armin Levy, very instrumental yes. uh, in the team as well. Yes, so the when team you manager. Dine -tune it, mm -hmm. What were you dining and tuning it for there? Uh, for performance and also to check uh, the health of the car. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that one, uh, me and Anwar have been racing for about 10 years. Okay. And then we decided we want to go a bit quicker. We... And, and you've got to have the racing stance as well. I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> how long did you uh -huh. take to practice that stance? <laughs> did you, st I did think you stand in just, the mirror? <laughs> it just comes with a car, yes. <laughs> okay, no, it's yeah. a natural. A natural. Mm -hmm. And as yes. you can see, you're quite far ahead in the grid. Did you have to qualify to be here? You or? have to qualify, yes, to okay. be on the grid, yeah. Fantastic. Is that uh -huh. the other one that you have as well? That's the car that I bought about two years ago, yes. The right. E46 M3s, um, me and Anwar, yes. Take We're us both through a there. typical race week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nerves, so basically, patience, your race week, Mentally, it starts already a week before. Gotcha. You understand? With the entry. Uh -huh. Then basically um, preparing the car. On a Thursday, there's open practice okay. for members right. uh, of Kilani. You can go practice 4 till 6 p.m. Okay. So you'll go and test the car. If you're happy with the car, okay, you set, you're ready for the weekend. Okay. If something breaks, then the stress starts. Mm, <laughs> yeah, then you have nights. to work late nights yes, sure. to get the car ready. Parts, etc., etc. Yes. How involved mm -hmm. as a racer? How involved mm -hmm. does the family become in all of this? Because surely it's a lot of time. It is a challenge, yeah. Family, Juggling, yeah. you know, with racing, family time, mm. and work also. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. It's not like you so, do this full time, right? That's it. Yeah. No, it's just a hobby. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you look at your career, mm -hmm. um, what was some of the highlights that stood out for you over the years? Over the years, like I said, as the car progressed, mm -hmm. um, for me, like I, I work on the car myself. So going to the track and you actually uh, finished well in your category on the grid, etc. Yeah? Right. And the car performed flawlessly. So that's basically a pat on the back, you understand? Of course, yeah, and of that course. feeling, yeah, you can't get that anywhere else. Yeah. Some of the circuits mm -hmm. that you prefer racing, besides Kilani, around the country? Besides Kilani, me and Anwar did the Gauteng Challenge, the MW that, yes. Challenge, yes, yeah. uh, this year, uh, last year, sorry. Um, we went to a few different tracks, I enjoyed that thoroughly. Yeah. What's the camaraderie? After racing like? for 10 years at Kilani, yes. Yeah, of uh -huh, course. What's yes. the camaraderie like? I mean, do you meet, make lots of friends uh, off the track when it comes to race? You know, the friends uh, yes, definitely. cut a bit. The racing, that's a big part of it, yeah. Meeting new people, new friends, yeah, in different provinces, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, you're always making new friends. Do the guys yeah. help mm -hmm. out? For example, there's a part that you need. Can you go to a friend that you've met? And yes, say, hey, there's always you guys, have yeah. There's, there's always guys that are willing to help, yeah. The parts. Um, in fact, in Joburg, one of the brothers there, he took me to his workshop, wow. uh, Ferrari Brian. Right. He actually, we had to do a gearbox change. So, yeah, he actually offered to use his workshop. Isn't that phenomenal? He transported the car from the track mm -hmm. to his workshop and back again. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. We've got That's a lovely awesome WhatsApp that. coming through, and I think you know who mm -hmm. this is from. It says, Assalamu alaikum. Well done to Mansoor Parker and Anwar Levy on their achievements from mm -hmm. your biggest fan. <laughs> and it's a number, I'm not going to say the name, but it's okay. 8604 at the end. Uh, so I think you may know who it is. But a little birdie told me okay. that your wife also races. Yes, correct. <laughs> what is she race? <laughs> So she is more on the drag racing scene, yeah. Right. And top end events what also. Car is do, she? Yeah. Not a BM. She's got a GTR R thirty five, yeah. Uh -huh. A GTR, yes. the the Nissan. Nissan GTR, yes. Okay, so so mm -hmm. I'm there the next time <laughs> that that car races because that's a wonderful car as well. Good performance. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, advice for people that would like to get into the sport from your point of mm -hmm. view. You you know you started when you were twenty nine. There were people yes. started when they were younger. Yeah. What advice mm -hmm. do you have? I'll say start off small. You mm -hmm. know. Uh, don't go crazy. Don't think that you're going to be the next Lewis Hamilton, sure. etc. Yeah. And it's it for about the fun of going it. to Ferrari, by the way. I uh, heard so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard that today. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Now, start off small, buy any car. You can start Clubman's, you can come with any vehicle, whatever brand, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So long as it's the same 
If it's a BMW, it has to have a BMW engine. Yeah. Right, right. And yeah, you can develop your skills like you're developing the car. As Stunning. you get more money, you put some more money into the car. Understand? Great advice. That's and uh, mm -hmm. I think, you know, the safety aspect as well. Yes, no, the uh, safety club, has to follow, be there, follow yeah. the rules. Follow the rules, yeah. Safety, they are very strict when it comes to safety. Right. Seat belts, etc. roll cage, that has to be in place. Yeah. What's the adrenaline like? I mean, in a race? You, you can't explain it really. <laughs> you have to come and experience it for yourself, yeah. Wow. Mansoor, it's been mm -hmm. an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you so much. Thank um, you for having me. I think you guys are pioneers in the sport, uh, especially being from the Muslim community as well. Yes, we try and help as much, guys, when they come in here. Yeah, we try and assist them yeah, so, wherever we can. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, mm -hmm. Mansoor. All the best to you and the family. And we look forward to having you back on the show soon, inshallah. Awesome. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. That's Mansoor Parker, uh, part of uh, the racing team, Armin Levy. We had um, Anwar in earlier, and uh, Mansoor races alongside with him as well. After the break, we chat about a publication that is uh, enhancing the car sales industry and the car performance industry as well, if you'd like to know more. Join us on the WhatsApp line, 79 Send your message so that we can read it out. You are still watching Hilal Live. It's the Motorsport Show.